All right, welcome to our daily community meditation. So lately I've been thinking about the concept of a double portion in the Bible. The Bible is filled with scriptures about God restoring double to us, giving us a double portion. And I've really been thinking about this verse from Zechariah chapter 9, verse 12. God says, return to your strongholds, O prisoners of hope. Today I declare that I will restore double to you. You think about the story of Job in the Bible. God restored double to him what he had lost. The Bible tells us, I believe it's Isaiah, uh, that Jesus actually paid double for our sins. God just doesn't go, go an equal payment. He goes over and above. I believe he wants to restore to us double for whatever we've gone through. So I believe one of the things God was saying to me is just, I want you to start believing me for double. Believing me to restore double. Believing me for double portion. Believe me for that. Let's get started with the other prayer and then we're going to take communion over this. Heavenly Father, I pray for everybody who's watching and listening. Their families, their friends, everybody connected to them and all of our church and governmental leaders. And I thank you for releasing us from darkness and transferring us into the light, into the kingdom of your dear son. I thank you for your purpose and grace given to us in Christ Jesus before time ever began. And that Jesus was struck down, he was smitten, bruised and pierced and crushed and destroyed all so that you could be on our side. That you can be fighting for us. And Father, I just keep asking that you would help us to know you more and more. To know Jesus, to know all that he did for us, all that he made available for us. That we would know the Holy Spirit and be sensitive to his leading. And ask you to bless us. To expand our borders and our territory. To expand our capacity to receive everything you've given us in Christ. And to let it flow through us so that we do good and are blessing to people all over the world. Send us opportunities to do good and be a blessing today. And help us make the most of those opportunities. Keep your hand on us and help us do today what's right and best in your eyes. And do it with peace and joy and confidence in you. And we ask you to stretch out your hand to heal. And do signs and wonders and keep us from evil and pain. Through the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. And Father, we're so grateful for these scriptures. We see all throughout the Bible that you promise this double restoration. We see it in Isaiah chapter 61. We see it in Zechariah. We see it all throughout scripture. This idea of a double portion, a double blessing, restoring double and Lord, we're asking you for that today. This is a formal request. We're asking you to restore double to us. Because it says that Jesus actually paid double for what our sins deserve. And we thank you the night Jesus was betrayed, took the bread and said, this is my body broken for you. Do this in remembrance of me. I just thank you that we get this opportunity today to remember. We've been made one with you through the sacrifice of Jesus. Let's go and take a bread. Then after supper, Jesus took the cup. He said, this is the cup of the new covenant. In my blood poured out for the forgiveness of sins for many. I just thank you to be to have this covenant relationship with you, Father. It's going to take our juice. All right, let's talk about some practical application into our health and fitness. So one of my mentors in health and fitness, he used to use what he called the double method which is that when you find something that you really want to work on, 
you really want to improve, you would do it twice in a session. You would start the session with it and you would end the session with it. You would work on it twice. This is a way to make very rapid progress in something that you want to improve at. The double method. But keep remembering God is with you. He loves you and nothing's impossible for him.